Hi everyone, this is Atha Khapaz and here we are going to speak about creep simulation of adhesively bonded joints. This video is going to divide it into two parts. The first part speaks about the creep model of the adhesive which obtains from the creep data of the creep test. Uh, so here as you can see we have the bulk sample and uh, we perform some creep tests on some bulk samples and we get uh, uh, these experimental data and then uh, we are able to fit a curve like this which this curve is the creep model uh, which is the creep, uh, this creep model is a material property of the adhesive. After getting this uh, creep model of uh, a material which is adhesive here, we are able to simulate a uh, single lab joint or any other uh, adhesively bonded joints uh, using this adhesive. Uh, the references that uh, we used in this video are these uh, three papers, uh, but the main paper is this one entitled Creep Behavior of Graph and Reinforced Epoxy Adhesive Leap on the Joints. Uh, this paper is uh, published in the Journal of Adhesion. In the first step, we have to obtain the Creep model of a, mo of a material. So after performing, after performing the creep test of a material, you will obtain some information includes stress, time, stress, strain, and time. Uh, I also bring the stress strain curve of the adhesive as you can see here is the black line here is for neat adhesive uh, as you can see here the maximum low load here is 25 which is the strength of the adhesive and also you have to choose your uh, creep loading amount the constant loading amount into the into the creep tests uh, which is for sure less than this 25 but uh, uh, it is very critical to choose the best amount uh, in this domain however we choose to do our t uh, creep tests in the stresses amount of 13 9 and four megapascals here to get more better result it's better to use true stress and true strain instead of stress strain curves but uh, before then that we are gather we are going to gather these um, three these three tests information uh, to one and then uh, I select these cells and then push control shift and downward control X for cutting this area and paste it here and also for this test also I use this column and control shift downward control shift downward and then control X then we go here and paste it Okay, now we have all three uh, information of uh, three creep tests in these three columns. So,
As I said, we have it's better to change stress to true strain, true stress. Which here we have a equation uh, equals, as you can see, sigma zero multiplied to one plus sigma. So sigma zero, which is the stress here, multiply to one plus strain here. Select this cell and double click here to apply for all the cells in this column. And also here we have two strain so we have an equation here which is equals to ln 1 plus strain amount double click here to apply for all the data So now we have to enter these amounts into the MATLAB software. So we open the MATLAB software here. <clears throat> uh, click on import data and then open your Excel file which includes the creep test data. here okay we need uh, true stress exactly similar to the excel file you can click on this cell and then push control shift downward uh, so this column will be Selected, then click on import selection. Uh, also, for the time, click here and then control shift downward. And then also, you have to click import. And also, for the strain, click on import. So, um, it's better to know that uh, in the Excel file, if you, for example, uh, choose this uh, amount and then you import it into, into the MATLAB software, the MATLAB software name it as the above mentioned, uh, above mentioned but mm, without any spaces. For example, uh, MATLAB uh, named this vector as a true strain without this uh, space here so I'm going to close this window then here I can open the curve fitting of MATLAB so here we can you we can select X Y and Z data uh, X, uh, we choose time for X and uh, true stress for Y and also true strain for Z data which is the creep strain here uh, as you can see uh, here this is our creep model uh, you can see this uh, this is the data of creep tests uh, but we have to select we have to choose our custom uh, creep model uh, for example uh, then we have to choose the custom equation here uh, which is z uh, equals to a equation of x and y which is time and true stress uh, so 
uh, this, here you can see the Norton Bailey equation uh, or uh, this is the power law or creep model as you can see here we have the constant creep constant which is a n and m uh, and this is how your model fits your data you can see here how it fits your data and still you can obtain this a m and m and this these are your material property related to creep model of the adhesive in the next video we are going to uh, we uh, in the next video we are going to see w how we use these material properties to simulate uh, the creep behavior of a single lab joint using ANSYS software thank you guys See you on next video.